वेलकम टू दिस डेली लाइव ऑफ अन अकेडमी कैट फॉर एमबीए चैनल माई नेम इज रोनक शाह एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सर्कल्स सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट सेशन ऑफ सर्कल्स सो एज यू नो दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड डिस्कसिंग डिफरेंट एरियाज ऑफ जोमेट्री एंड एज पार्ट ऑफ दैट जोमेट्री सीरीज दिस इज द फिफ्थ सेशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट दिस टॉपिक ऑफ सर्कल इन टू लेक्चर्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट थियोरम्स एंड ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स एंड देन टुमारो वी आर गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस प्लेंटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑफकोर्स वील प्रैक्टिस फ्यू क्वेश्चन इवन टूडे so before we go ahead this is a bit about myself in case if you are attending my session for the first time and yes we have the best of the educators on this platform on this particular channel and they are taking daily live session so please be with us by uh, subscribing uh, subscribing to this channel and also tell your friends about this channel right so this is the agenda for the session we are going to discuss uh, the all the properties and concepts of circles then we'll look at some important theorems we'll look at some theorems related to tangents and then we'll practice questions yeah and uh, yes guys in case if you haven't subscribed to the channel so quickly do it and this is our telegram channel for the discussions right and uh, if you are planning to go for an academy subscription do use my referral code that is shah10 so that you can enjoy all the benefits so guys let's begin and let's crack it so uh, the first thing is some important points so that you must have studied during your school so this is what i am going to tell you <clears throat> it's cot tangent secant and signs so of fourth right so these are the points that we need to quickly revise uh, am i audible to everyone guys can you just show me a thumbs up if everything is okay yeah <clears throat> everyone are you there so yeah in case if there is any issue please uh, use the comment section to uh, update me about that okay <clears throat> right hi hi sumit okay so guys cord as you know um, you know if i draw a line um, you know cutting circle at two different points uh, so that is called secant and some part of secant or the part of the secant that lies inside the circle it's called cord so you understand that cord is nothing but part of secant only and tangent so line touching circle exactly at one point so that is uh, tangent so you are aware about this then what is an arc so uh, if i take two points on the circle say this two point b and c so if the part of the circumference of the circle uh, you know is called that arc so there are two types of arc when you take uh, point b and c so this is called minor arc and this red one is called major arc and uh, you know this part is called sector so i'm sure you are pretty familiar about this arc and sector now how do we measure the length of the arc so there are two types of measurement for the arc one is angular measurement of the arc so angle made by that arc at the center is called angular measurement of the arc let me assume that it is theta over here then i can also find out the length of the arc see arc is nothing but if you cut circle from two points so you will get part of that circle you just stretch it so it will be a straight line so we want to measure the length of that straight line so how do we do it so it is theta upon 360 into 2 pi r and it is very easy to understand that when the complete angle is 360 degree the complete circumference or the complete length of the circle is 2 pi r so for this angle theta it will be theta upon 360 into 2 pi r uh, are we all clear yes everyone fine um so as i mentioned this blue uh, color region is nothing but sector and again sector has the angle uh, you know the angle made at the center so that's the angular measurement of the sector and how do we find the area of this blue region so that is called area of sector that is theta upon 360 into pi r square some re really simple points so i'm sure all of you are aware about this if i ask you acha let's understand this part so when we draw a, a chord so here pq is a chord so chord always divide circle in two parts so this is one part and this is another part so this is called segment in fact this is minor segment and this is called major segment so whenever you draw a chord it divides circle in two segments minor and major right so if you want to find out area of the segment how can you do it so first you find out area of the sector the complete sector and then you find out area of this triangle it will always be an isosceles triangle because these are nothing but radiuses of that uh, circle so these two sides have to be equal so you can subtract that area of triangle from the sector 
so this were easy points now starts the theorems okay and whatever points i'm displaying uh, displaying on the slide in next 15 minutes guys you will have to make a point that you remember all those points in fact we are also going to prove some of the theorems right so proving a particular theorem actually helps you in developing better understanding to that topic right and that's why i always emphasize a little bit more on proving those theorems right so uh, the angle made by diameter at any point so uh, you know this is the diameter of the circle say pq so the angle made by that diameter on any point at the circumference will always be right angle outside uh, the circle any point outside the circle so this will always be less than 90 degree or you can say it will be an acute angle and uh, inside the circle it will always be obtuse angle that is more than 90 degree so diameter hamesha circumference ke koi bhi point pe 90 degree ka angle banata hai so for example agar main yaha pe point b le leta hu aur main ye diameter ke end points ko yaha pe connect kar deta hu so ye angle bhi 90 degree ho jayega are you getting this point right so you need to remember this three points a moving forward distance of a chord so how do we measure distance of a chord guys so distance of a chord is nothing but perpendicular drop from center on that chord as simple as that so this is chord ab and if I drop a perpendicular on AB, say at point C, forget about this part, don't look at this. Just look at this perpendicular OC. So this is distance of the chord from center. And remember one more thing. So this, uh, this perpendicular will always divide the chord in two equal pieces. Okay, so AC and CB will be equal. And uh, yeah, one more theorem. So equal chords are always at an equal distance from the center. So for example, if AB and CD are two equal chords, then the distance that is OM and ON will also be equal, right? Okay, now what can we say about tangent? So remember this thing, tangent is always perpendicular to the radius. So in this diagram, OA is the radius and this uh, you know line is a tangent. So this OA is always perpendicular to the tangent. Radius is always perpendicular to the tangent at the point of tangency. Then there is something called tangent second theorem. So this is also very important theorem. Okay, before that, uh, you know, if you take a point outside the circle and if you draw two tangents, on the same circle so those two tangents will be of equal length that is pa will be equal to pb right and um, angle subtended by an arc so remember this thing suppose i have taken two points on the circumference of the circle the points are d and c so this is arc dc now this arc dc makes one angle on some point at the circumference of the same circle so this angle is theta and if i take another point on the circumference so this angle will also be theta even if i take a point over here and if i connect these end points over here that angle will also be theta so angle subtended by an arc or a chord at a distinct points on the circumference in the same segments are equal angle subtended by arc or a chord at a distinct points on the circumference in the alternate segment that means you have taken one point over here and this is that line which divides the circle in two segments take another point in the opposite segment so these two angles will add up to 180 degree and if you remember in the previous session that is quadrilateral we had discussed this point that this a d c b is nothing but a cyclic quadrilateral because all the four vertices of this quadrilateral are on the circumference of the circle right so in a cyclic quadrilateral sum of opposite angles always add up to 180 degrees so this is the same point now uh, you know remember this thing that angle subtended by arc cb at the center that is over here will be twice the angle subtended by the same arc on any point at the circumference so if this angle is theta then the angle subtended by the same arc at the center will be double of that that is 2 theta guys can you remember all these points Quickly show me a thumbs up. Great. Okay. Fine. So, uh, you know, what you can do is I always recommend the same thing to the students that uh, once you have uh, attended this session, please do not shy away from looking at this video for at least two to three times. If you'll hear me uh, two, three times, nah, you will remember all those theorems like a beautiful song. Okay. Fine. Though my voice is not that great, but still your love for cat is very great. 
so guys uh, coming back to this one uh, intersection of chords so there is external intersection of chords and there is internal uh, intersection of chords so we have two chords a b and c d now i am extending this chord over here and the c, c d chord is extended outside so they are intersecting at point p then this theorem always holds true in fact there is also a formula available using which you can find out this angle that is angle bpd so this is the formula so uh, it is rarely used but yes you can always take a glance at this after the session same way internal intersection so now i am taking two chords bc and ad please understand so i have drawn two chords in the circle this is bc this is ad bc ad uh, and uh, they are not intersecting at center this is just point o uh, sorry this is point q right so then again the same thing holds true qa into qd so qa into qd is equal to qb into qc because the chord was ad and bc so that's why we have applied the same point over here right so this is about internal intersection of chords please remember this thing now comes the tangent second theorem so here there is a circle and i have drawn one tangent pt so this is a tangent and i have drawn one secant secant is a line cutting circle at two different points so this uh, pb is a secant then there is a tangent second theorem which says that pt square is equal to pa into pb pt square is equal to pa into pb are we clear about this so please remember this is an important point okay now comes a very very important theorem which is very frequently used it is called alternate segment theorem <coughs> <coughs> so this alternate segment theorem says that whenever you draw a chord so i have drawn a chord bc and you draw a tangent so i have drawn a tangent cd so definitely there will be some angle form between this chord and the tangent right because the both are meeting at point c okay so now this angle will be equal to angle made by the same chord bc at some point on the circumference so suppose this bc is making one angle over here at point a so this angle and this angle will be equal right and now this is what we need to prove so can you please prove this thing why are they are equal how can you prove that they are equal and we can use just triangle property and the proper uh, the points that i just mentioned that equal arc extends equal angle and uh, you know uh, you know diameter makes an angle of 90 degrees so some of these points uh, you can use and you can prove this thing that this is actually uh, same guys can you please try for that let me help you so suppose the center of the circle is over here point o is the center of the circle and let me draw the diameter of that circle so this let's call uh, you know ec is the diameter i have drawn the diameter ec is the diameter now can you think of that how are you going to prove this hmm yes so if you want you can also connect this thing so now this diameter ec makes the complete angle of 90 degree and same way this diameter ec will also be perpendicular to this tangent so of course we know this is also 90 degree but what we need to prove is this angle is equal to this angle this is what we need to prove so let me do one thing let me draw another circle so that uh, we can prove this thing and in the meantime you can also think about this guys quickly do it so let me draw one more circle something that looks like a circle yes i have been successful and this is the tangent okay so suppose they intersect over here so we need to prove that this angle uh, now let me connect it over here so we need to prove that this angle is equal to this angle so this is what we need to prove so as i mentioned what we need to do is first we will draw a diameter of the circle so let's take this point a this is uh, this is o this is a this is c d b e and let's connect over here so definitely this angle is 90 degree and this angle is also 90 degree now what can we do how can we prove this thing guys so can i say uh, now let me indicate with a different color line can i say this angle is made by this arc eb arc eb makes one angle over here at point c so let's call this angle alpha same arc ec makes another angle over here so this also has to be alpha 
so can we say this remaining angle because this complete angle was 90 degree so this angle the, uh, the angle that i am pointing right now it should be 90 minus alpha same way this is alpha this complete angle is 90 so this angle should also be 90 minus alpha so that's why we can say both angle are same this is what we have mentioned over here so hence prove right you know we used to write this thing hence prove so yes we have proved this thing in fact there is one more way to prove this thing so please identify one more way to prove this theorem after the session okay and then you can write it uh, write to me on our, my telegram id or post it on the telegram con discussion group so that uh, you know uh, i can understand whether you have come right way or not fine guys so alternate segment theorem once again uh, if you have one chord if you have one tangent they are intersecting at point c so this angle that is angle between chord and tangent will be same as angle made by that particular chord at any point on the circumference so it will be same so i hope all of you have understood this points right now here comes one more point common tangents so we need to remember uh, different types of tangents so whenever you have two circles you know between two circles between two different circles see the circles may also be intersecting like this so there will be only two common tangents if the circles are like this just touching each other then there will be three common tangents and if there are two completely disjoint circles then there will be four common tangents so this ab and cd are called direct common tangent dct and this uh, you know pq and rs called transverse common tangent okay so remember this thing and this is how you can find out measurement of this tangents not that frequently used um, so definitely uh, you really don't need to remember that right now so when you are do in the final lap of your preparation maybe you can remember these points quickly okay fine guys so let's go to the next part Achha, before that uh, just to quickly give you a quick idea when do i conduct a uh, youtube session in case if you are not aware about this so 9 to 10 pm every day i conduct cat con sessions and saturday that is tomorrow we have to do five marathon session so we are going to have a marathon session on complete cat 2019 analysis okay so please attend it same way i also conduct the session on unacademy app every day 5 to 6 pm and every sunday i conduct marathon session so sunday again the timing is 2 to 5 pm so do join me for each of the session and i'm sure you will have great learning fine guys so let's start with some of the questions please try to solve this question find the distance between two parallel chords of length 6 centimeter and 8 centimeter in a circle with radius 5 centimeter everyone so can you tell me what option is correct for this find the distance between two parallel chords of length 6 cm and 8 cm with a circle um, in a circle with radius 5 cm so this is that circle right let's take center over here center is o let's take one chord as ab and this is of 6 cm so of course the longer chord will be close to the center because the more closer you go to the center the higher will be the length right so the other chord will be of 8 centimeter so this is cd which is of 8 centimeter yeah okay now uh, i need to find out the distance so i'll have to drop a perpendicular so this is that perpendicular now since this is six centimeters so this has to be three this has to be three and what is the radius of the circle five centimeters so let me connect this way and this is five so can i say this should be straight away four yeah three four five pythagorean triplet because this is perpendicular so triangle omb is a right angle triangle same way if i drop another perpendicular uh, on cd so let me call it on and let me connect it the radius again okay so this is 5 and this quad is of 8 centimeters so this is 4 this is 4 so this has to be 3 centimeter so what is the distance between these two quads guys it will come out to be 4 plus 3 7 yes or no so shall i say answer is 7 is that correct no guys answer is not necessarily 7 because there is another possibility now what is the other possibility so it may also be possible that two chords are on the same side of the center that means it may be like this isn't that 
now see please understand this cord the smaller cord is at a distance of 4 cm this uh, you know longer cord is at a distance of 3 cm so what will be this distance it will be 1 unit so that's why we'll go ahead with this answer not this one 1 or 7 are you getting this point in the same circle I'm, I have taken the same circle but both the cords can be on the same side of the center na? right so if I take a circle I'll get many cords of 8 cm length it can be like this it can be like this isn't that right so this is the distance and they are parallel cords so of course whether I take here uh, and the 8 cm over here or here ultimately all these are parallel lines by the way uh, why again same 4 and 1 Nee, nee. see please understand uh, you know see the cord the two cords can be on the alternate side of the center or they can be the same side of the center so if I take cord AB over here and CD over here the total distance will be 7 units but if I take CD on this side and AB on also that side so now AB is 4 cm away from the center while CD is 3 cm away from the center so what is the distance between this AB and CD it is 1 unit so my complete distance will be either 7 unit or it will be 1 unit the distance between these two cords will be 7 units or 1 unit so I hope now you are clear yes uh, what's your name by the way bbox that is what I can see what's your exact name you can just mention your name fine guys right uh, so can you please try to solve this question um, there are uh, four questions in this one two three four these are four different questions by the way okay shivam yeah okay shivam i missed that part yeah you had mentioned i believe so in a circle uh, the circle in the figure has radius 5 and is centered at o okay so this is that circle an external point p from an external point p lines p and pb are drawn so what are p and pb of course they are tangent and tangent from the same point on the same circle are equal right at two distinct points so pa equal to pb that is what is known and the radius is given as five centimeters so both of these are five now if ap is equal to seven find pb so if this is seven of course pb has to be seven because they are equal so it's a very simple question if ap is equal to 12 if this is 12 find op so can i say this is 90 degree this is five this is 12 and this will be hypotenuse so it has to be 13 so straight away you can write down this is 13 very simple question again right if ap is equal to 5 so now this is given as phi unit then find angle P apb so what will be this angle can i say guys this is an isosceles right angle triangle oa equal to ap so these two angles have to be same so this will come out to be 45 degree 45 degree same way this will also come out to be 45 degree and this will also be 45 degree so angle apb in that case will be 90 degree yes or no so it was again a very simple conceptual question right okay now if ap is equal to 5 root 3 so look at this question now if ap is equal to 5 root 3 let me raise all these things so AP is 5 root 3 so definitely this will also be 5 root 3 so find this one angle APB so what will be angle APB now can you tell me the answer guys what will be this angle find this angle sure take one minute time to solve this question one minute itself is more if you are very clear with the concept you can easily solve this And guys there is one more question over here so i'm giving you one more question if ap is equal to 5 root 3 uh, find op uh, not op find ab so this is the fifth question yeah can you tell me what is the answer for question d what will be measurement of angle APB? Okay, so do you remember that 30, 60, 90 triangle? You know, if this is A, then half of A. 
and this will be root 3 by 2 times a okay or let me just write it different way if this is 2a then this will be a and this will be root 3a remember this thing yep so can i say in this try in this right angle triangle that is aop this is a right angle triangle yeah aop is a right angle triangle so in that this angle is 90 degree now if you look at this side and this side so the relation is 5 and 5 root 3 can i say a and a root 3 so this has to be a 30 60 90 triangle so side opposite to 60 degree will be root 3 times a so this angle has to be 60 degree and side opposite to 30 degree has to be a so in a right angle triangle if you come across this kind of values of two perpendicular arms phi and phi root 3 you can straight away say this is a 30 60 90 triangle in fact if i give you another right angle triangle where this is 10 and this is given as 5 so you can surely say okay 2a and a hypotenuse and a side opposite to 90 degree angle is nothing but hypotenuse so that is 10 so this side opposite to 30 degree is half of that so this has to be 30 degree and this will be 60 degree so this will come out to be 5 root 3 guys this can be proved by sine theta so you take sine 30 sine 60 and all you can figure out this thing okay so this is how we can quickly figure out okay uh, if this is 5 root 3 this is 5 so this angle has to be 30 if this is 30 this angle has to be 30 because these are two congruent triangles if you have attended session of triangles i'm sure all points that i'm talking right now you will remember that so what is this complete angle so it will come out to be 60 degree guys have you all understood this point what i just explained 30 60 90 triangle how we applied that and please remember this triplet 30 60 90 so a3 root 3a and 2a remember this triplet yep okay fine so now try for this question e that i have given to you yeah chalo everyone quickly solve this question e let me erase all these things but can i say this 30 60 90 will definitely be there of course so it will remain there yeah and if this is 5 this is 5 root 3 so of course this will be 10 now how will you find out ab so you need to find out measurement of ab this one any idea how will you do it guys tell me one thing which kind of figure is this one a o b p okay sumit i understand right so guys uh, which kind of figure is this a o b p can i say this is a kite so quadrilateral a o b p is a kite right now what is the area of quadrilateral aobp can i say it's equal to twice area of triangle twice area of triangle oap or you can say it's one half product of diagonals what's the area of a kite one half the product of diagonals d1 into d2 yes or no so what is the area of triangle aop can i say it's one half base into height that is half of 5 into 5 root 3 so it will be 25 root 3 by 2 so this is this area is nothing but uh, you know uh, half oh sorry 2 times half 25 into root 3 yes so this half half will get cancelled off so it is 25 root 3 which is half of d1 into d2 now we know what is uh, this is one diagonal so d1 into d2 means uh, it's op into ab so we know value of op is 10 so i can say 25 root 3 is equal to half into 10 into ab so what is half into 10 it's 5 so this 5 will get cancelled off over here so what will be ab ab is going to be again 5 root 3 so ab will come out to be 5 root 3 as simple as that are you getting this point guys 
ab will be 5 root 3 this is one way of course there could have been other ways also i don't deny but yes you can use property of kite and you can calculate this thing so i hope all of you have understood this part right great fine guys so let's go ahead with one more cat question so this is a cat set cat question okay old cat question so please go through the data and the questions are on the next slide right so please read the data so that i can take you to the question yes uh, so shall we go ahead everyone have you understood this thing what is given two circles touching each other lines a b and c d are direct common tangents so they are the common tangent a b and c d are direct common tangent and they are intersecting at point r line r s passes through the centers of both the circle so this is that line line r s and the centers are q and p the radius of smaller circle is phi unit of course if i draw radius like this so this will be phi unit in fact this is also phi this is also phi and the radius of larger circle is 8 units right so this is also 8 this is also 8 so let me show you the questions and let me draw all those uh, let me put all those values over here so this is 5 this is also 5 and this is also 5 same way 8 and 8 now we need to find out radius of the larger circle sorry uh, this is not 8 guys what is 8 so sr is given as 8 that is this is 8 so this is 8 let's assume this is x so we need to find out radius of larger circle that is x now can you tell me how can we find this radius take one minute time think for a while and tell me how to find out radius what is x in this question chalo everyone please try for that and tell me your answer quickly give a thought and yes guys how can you forget to press uh, the like button so quickly press the like button yep do it quickly as we always do let me give you some hint guys look at triangle q c r and triangle p d r what can you say about this two triangle remember that uh, uh, you know radius is always perpendicular to tangent so p d is always perpendicular to dr q c is always perpendicular to the same dr line or you can say cr line so what can you say about these two triangles q c r and p d r can you say they are similar everyone because uh, you know this of course perpendiculars are always parallel so this angle and this angle will be same this pr will act as a transverse so these are corresponding angles they are same these are of course 90 degree so two angles are same of course this is common angle right so what can we say over here qc upon pd let me write it this way qc upon pd will be equal to cr upon dr cr upon dr will be equal to qr upon pr qr upon pr yes or no so let's look at this part because i know qc i know qc i also know cr because see what is qr can i say qr is 13 this is 5 so hypotenuse is 13 this is 5 so this has to be 12 because this is a right angle triangle so this will come out to be 12 so we know a cr 
एंड डी आर अच्छा वी डोंट नो डी आर राइट सो इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस वन लेट्स टेक सम अदर लाइन्स तो क्यू सी अपॉन पी डी क्यू आर राइट क्यू आर अपॉन पी आर राइट सो इंस्टेड ऑफ टेकिंग दिस टू लेट्स टेक दिस रिलेशन दिस विल बी बेटर फॉर अस सो नाउ वॉट इज क्यू सी सो क्यू सी इज फाइव अपॉन पी डी पी डी इज एक्स विच इज इक्वल टू सी आर नाउ वॉट इज सी आर ट्वेल्व not cr we are taking this one qr so what is qr 5 plus 8 13 divide by pr can i say pr will be x plus 5 plus 5 plus 8 that is 13 plus 5 18 plus x this will be 18 plus x just cross multiply so you will get 90 plus 5x is equal to 13x or you will get x is equal to 11.25 90 is equal to 8x so 90 divided by 11 um sorry 90 divided by 8 is equal to um 11.25 are you all getting this point everyone so this your x came out to be the radius of the larger circle came out to be 11.25 now we need to find ad so how will we find ad now this is going to be slightly challenging ad Guys, can I say this? Uh, if I look at this figure again, it's a kite A P D R. It's a kite, so I want to find out A D. I know P R. I have P R value, and I want to find out A D value, so I can find out area of this quadrilateral. What is the area of this quadrilateral? It's twice the area of this triangle P D R. But for that, we need to find out D C. So let's find out D C quickly. First, we will find out D C. I'm sure all of you have understood up till now. Is there any confusion? How we we got radius of the larger circle as 11.25? Yes or no? Are you all clear? great so let's go ahead and let's understand what is this so once again let me draw it this line this line now we know this is 11.25 this is also 11.25 this is 5 5 5 8 and 12 and uh, uh first we will find out now dc okay so how can we find dc of course so i can use the same similarity so triangle qcr is similar to triangle pdr so i can say qr upon pr will be equal to um cr upon dr see qr upon pr will be equal to cr upon dr okay now what is qr of course it is 13 what is pr 13 plus 5 18 plus 11.25 that is 29.25 which is equal to cr now cr is 12 and dr so dr will be let's take this as y so y plus 12 this is y plus 12 so just solve this thing and tell me what is the value that you are getting so this will be 13y plus 156 is equal to 29.25 into 12 29.25 into 12 okay now i say this is nothing but 29 plus 1 by 4 into 12 so what is 1/4 of 12 it's going to be 3 what is 29 plus 12 so 12 into 30 360 minus 12 kar do 348 so you'll get this as 348 plus 3 351 so this will come out to be 351 So I'll get 13y is equal to 351 minus 156. So what will be this value? It will be one. Um, it will come out to be 195. Yes or no, everyone? It will be 195. So y will be 195 divided by 13. So that will come out to be uh, 15. Right. This will come out to be fifteen. Thirteen ones are thirteen sixty-five. Thirteen fives are sixty-five. So this y will come out to be fifteen. Now we have the area. So area of triangle uh, PDR. Area of triangle PDR. See, I am looking at this complete triangle, which is a right angle triangle, is equal to one half PD into. dr 
so that is one half 29.25 sorry 11.25 11.25 into dr that is 15 plus 12 dr is 15 plus 12 that is 27 so we got this one and so twice of this will be 11.25 into 12, 27 right so let me just write here now let me write it here i can say area of quadrilateral a p d r is equal to twice area of triangle p d r which is equal to half product of diagonals that is a b a d into p r yes or no everyone so this quadrilateral which is a kite a p d r its area is either you take twice the area of uh, this right angle triangle pdr or you find it out as product of two diagonals half the product of two diagonals so we know this area what is that so it's half of this one and if you multiply it by two so it will come out to be 11.25 into 27 is equal to half into what is ad ad we need to find out into pr now what is pr so this is 29.25 29.25 and if you solve this thing you will get a uh, length of ad so quickly tell me what is the length of ad everyone please tell me what will be this length because this is going to be slightly calculation intensive right so yeah uh, one half if you multiply over here so this will be uh 22.5 it will be ad will be 22.5 into 27 divided by 0.25 right now 29.25 is nothing but 117 by 4 117 by 4 so put it over here 22.5 is nothing but uh you know 45 by 2 now let's see if we we are able to cancel off some factors of course so this will come out to be 2 so 90 into 27 by 117 so you will get value of ad by the way so radius came out to be 11.25 ad will come out to be 90 into 27 let me just do some calculation over here 90 into 27 divided by 117 so uh, if i say um, it will come out if i take this as 26 so this will be 13 2s are 26 13 9s are so 9 10s are it will be slightly more than 20 so it will be close to 21 okay it will be 20.5 let's write it this way guys if you calculate this will come out to be 20.5 or something are we all clear about this everyone now find the uh, length of line segment AB. So of course AB we have already found it's 15. So let's write down 15 over here. What is the area of RBQC? So area of RBQC. Can I say it's twice the area of QCR? So what is the area of QCR? 5 into 12, 60. Half of that 30, double of that 60. So this will come out to be 60. Find BC. So of course BC is not challenging. We can easily find out the same way. As we did uh, for AD and same way what is the area of ABQP so area of ABQP we had calculated over here it's twice of this one so you can also calculate this thing so I hope all of you have understood this thing right guys okay it was of course it was a cat question but uh, they'll not ask you five questions in cat they'll just ask you one question but you should have understood the approach you know it took us about uh, 10 to 15 minutes just to solve this question right now let's take some tricky question about three to four um, you know tricky question based on the concepts of circle and i'm sure you will develop better understanding because you will require that for tomorrow's session Achha, our uh, circle next session is not tomorrow it will be directly on monday now so please make a point to attend that practice session where i'm going to give you plenty of cat question in fact this is also cat question so let's quickly solve this guys um, in the given figure chord ED is parallel to the diameter AC so ED is parallel to AC CBE is 65 degree CBE so this angle is 65 degree okay now this arc CB is making angle over here so guys let me tell you something if I connect it this way first of all this complete will be 90 degree so this will be uh, 25 degree right because this is given as 60 degree again one more thing look at this arc BC 
arc BC uh, is making one angle over here, another angle over here, right? So remember that it has to be same. Okay, now what do we need to find out? What is the value of DEC? So I need to find out value of DEC. Of course, DEC will be equal to this one because these two lines are parallel. So if this is X, this has to be X. So we need to find out value of X, right? Now, can I say this arc AE is making one angle over here and another angle over here? So we have already calculated this is 25. So this has to be 25, isn't that? So this will also be 25 degrees. So answer is 25 degrees. Can you solve such questions, guys? Show me a thumbs up if you have understood. Once again, in case if you miss that train, let's look at once again, this angle is given as 65 degree. If I just connect this AB, so please understand AC is the diameter. Diameter makes an angle of 90 degree at the circumfer uh, for us. circumference. So this part is 65, so this part has to be 25, yes or no? Now look at arc AE. Arc AE is making angle B and angle at point C. So if this is 25, this has to be 25 and this two are uh, alternate angles if there are two parallel lines and then a transverse so this angle has to be equal to this angle so this is 25 this will come out to be 25 and that is what we had to find we are done so ideally if you are good at concepts it will take just 30 seconds for you to solve such questions suppose you are under exam pressure it's cat exam it will take say 60 seconds but still the, you will find plenty of questions in quant section which you will be able to solve in 30 to 60 seconds now guys this is where the marathon session on cat 2019 comes in the picture that is what i am conducting tomorrow so make a point to attend this marathon session um, from 2 to 5 pm okay complete cat 2019 quant section analysis you will also understand the question picking strategy that's very important so i'm sure all of you must have started taking mock test by now but you might be puzzled that I'm not getting good score so that is what I'm going to teach you how can you take your quant section score above 30 uh, you know in this period so yeah uh, please attend that now let's look at this question and this is also a tricky question completely based on tangent property and triangle so in the given figure line AD AE and CB are tangents to the circle AD um, uh, AE and CB are tangents AD is given as 4 units. This complete AD is given as 4 units. So of course A will also be 4. And we need to find out perimeter of ABC. We need to find out perimeter of this triangle. Let's see how to do it. Let's assume this is X. Now can I say point C makes 2 tangent. 1 at D, 1 at F. So CD is X. So CF also has to be X. So this part AC will be 4 minus X because the complete length of AD is 4. We have taken this as x, so we got this as 4 minus x. Same way, let's take this as y, so this will also be y, and this will be 4 minus y. Now, what is the perimeter of triangle ABC? Can I say it's 4 minus x plus 4 minus y plus this x plus y? If you just solve this thing, you will straight away get answer as 8. Done. Guys, so these are the kind of questions that you will find even in CAD exam, right? It's very simple. Okay, so we'll continue tomorrow. But before uh, you leave, let me quickly tell you something about our subscription. So as you know that we conduct sessions on YouTube, daily live sessions on YouTube. Apart from this, we also conduct uh, sessions on Unacademy platform. So yes, you should have uh, downloaded the Unacademy app so that you can attend plenty of my sessions over there as well. And after downloading the Unacademy app, you can also go for subscription so that you can get plenty of cat mock test you can get uh, uh, you know an awesome feature like leaderboard and national percentile of course and you will get to interact with me uh, much more personal you can address your doubts uh, i'll address your doubts and you can ask me um, uh, not only me but there are plenty of other educators right what you need to do for that is you need to quickly download this unacademy learning app you need to install it and once you have installed that you need to select your goal as cat and you need to click on plus get the subscription and you will see various plans over here i'll strongly suggest you to go for 12 months or 24 months plan whether you are writing cat this year or next year based on that now you might be wondering that uh, you know 12 months are not left for cat so why why would we go for 12 months plan the guys the simple reason is i mean cat is of course in the month of november but then there will be other entrance exam like snap cmat cd and all apart from that you will also require support for 
college selection and application and group discussion personal interview wat so there are plenty of mentors that are available on unacademy platform who will be guiding you for this so please go for at least one year plan and these are the pricing they are really very cost effective in fact if you use this referral code of mine sha10 you will get 10 percent waiver so you can enjoy this waiver also and you will be able to interact with me on much more personal level guys apart from that these are our other courses so as you know that earn academy is india's largest online learning platform and um, you know their courses on youtube are completely free so please ask your friends about our various other courses your relatives your friends and all you can also post about us on your facebook page or instagram page and this is how you can help uh, us in growing further and uh, this is uh, once again our youtube channel where you are watching this video live right now make sure that you have pressed the like button and you have pressed the bell button so that whenever i go live you get notification Do not forget to subscribe to our telegram channel also quickly be part of that and yeah once again these are my timings so i conduct every day 9 to 10 and saturday marathon on youtube and uh, you can find me on an academy app learning app by the name ronak kumar shah and you can attend my daily sessions over there from 5 to 6 pm and on sunday i conduct marathon session over there as well so guys let's crack it and keep learning that's it for today and adios see you tomorrow Good night.